this is David. Uh, and, but this time we are in El Paso, Texas. And this is gonna be my first hike in the state of Texas. And I chose the Thousand Steps Trailhead here. Um, it is 101 degree and it's about 6.30 p.m. So let us see how it goes. Come with me. One thing that I know is even though this is called a thousand step trail, it's definitely more than a thousand steps. <laughs> it's super hot and very rocky. See, this area is not that bad, but it was pretty rocky coming up here. So maybe hiking boots will be a better footwear than tennis shoes and uh it's definitely definitely hot 101 no shade so gotta make sure you get plenty of water with you and that you have drank plenty of water before coming to the trail to ensure that you're hydrated because you hydrate today for the hike tomorrow not the day of the activity so there's a, a couple of cool stuff about this trail that I read. This, uh, uh, there was a tragic accident in early 1950 where an Air Force bomber uh, crashed uh, somewhere around here. And they still have the wreckage, some of the wreckage up there and kind of like a little memorial. Hopefully we could see that. Um, this is, like I said, my first hike in El Paso, Texas. And pretty much my first hike in the desert. Um, so I, I don't know what to expect too much, but I'm glad you're here with me so we could figure it out together. All right, let's continue moving on here. Well, it's almost 7 p.m., but this sun is like super hot. Uh, I'm glad I brought my umbrella because uh, I tell you man it's super hot don't underestimate it hey check it out we're getting pretty good elevation here and I believe that over there is Ciudad Juarez Mexico and uh Let's see if I could zoom in a little bit. So many houses and structures so close together. Wow. Look at that, Juarez, Mexico. All right. And here we are. The trail. What's up? Maybe I'm a bit out of shape. This thing is no joke. Woo. It's up, 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 up. Ooh. All right. I think the trail is taking me to that little house over there. I don't know what it is, but let's go check it out with me, okay? Uh, bringing the heart rate level a little bit down before moving on. Oh yeah. Alright. All right. We made it to the little house. Cables. Graffiti. Looks like bump bits. I don't know who's gonna stay here tonight, but who knows? 
So I just realized that little house, it's kind of like the midpoint if you're just gonna do the thousand step trail. But if you continue pushing a little bit forward, there's something called the Ranger's Peak. And it's somewhere up there. Uh, and we're gonna go check it out and see if we could see a beautiful sunset, which is supposed to be about 8.30 p.m. All right, let's continue pushing on. All right, this is the first sign I've seen on all the trail. Whew. There's no place to follow. I'm glad to see this, I'm going somewhere. All right, we almost at the crest. Let's see what's up on the other side. Not a trail, okay? It's not a trail. Woo. What's up, El Paso? Woo. All right. We're gonna go up there. All right, let's do it. Hey, did I say that this hike is no joke? Woo! It's not. It's not. I use this rope to get up there. So you don't fall Woo down there. Yeah. Woo. We made it. Ah. And to my surprise, it's locked. Quang, quang. Ah. Well, that's a bummer. I just almost got to use my spare heart. Eh, that was tough. Anyways, that's it. That's Ranger's Peak. I didn't see the wreckage. Maybe it's in the other side of Ranger's Peak. But I'm just gonna rest a little bit and uh, start hiking now. Safer saying Ranger Peak going away. Uh, let's check out Jack on Loop real quick. Just a pick. I gotta admit, uh, hiking this late, it hasn't been one of my most brilliant ideas. Uh, it's getting, it's getting kind of dark pretty fast. I don't know this trail. 
Look at this stuff. Uh, right. But we're gonna make it there. I got a headlamp just in case. Uh, I got, I think I got plenty of water because there's no water at all. Oh, <laughs> there you are. There you are. Woo. What is that? beautiful Whew. it's the desert Chihuahua desert sunset right there but we gotta get moving all right let's go and I kind of in a hurry to get back to the car before night but i also conscious that if i try to go too fast here on this trail it's so rocky i could twist my ankle and uh you know some danger some aware of those dangers so i'm paying attention i'm paying attention and also looking at this beautiful sunset look it looks gorgeous and lights are starting to light up. It's beautiful. I don't know if you see it. But the city is starting to light up. See that? Check it out. see the moon now we almost there I think one eternity later all right thank you very much hey we made it we made it we made it to the beginning of the trail and uh, I got a little bit lost at the end not lost disoriented but there was an angel walking on the trail uh, and he showed me the way he was from Spain, who wouldn't know? Uh, wow, so I'm thankful for a lot of stuff in this uh, trail. Uh, I'm thankful for the phone not dying on me, for all trails, for mostly keeping me on track. Uh, I'm thankful for this guy, I didn't get his name, uh, from Spain. So he was walking out of nowhere exactly when I got disoriented and point me in the right direction. Uh, thankful for the troll, the beautiful views. And lastly, I'm very thankful for you for sticking out with me and doing this adventure with me. I don't feel it's the, it was a very smart move for me to do this, but damn, it was well worth it. It's beautiful. Uh, well, and that's it. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, just leave your comment below, man. Um, I love reading your comments and replying to them. And what else to say, man? I'll see you in the next one. Hasta pronto. Bye.